Okay, so this is Attic Black Figure. Here we have a depiction of Heracles, the Greek hero, killing Nessos, a centaur. Black Figure is made by painting in black on the red clay background and then using a scalpel to scrape away sections or to make incisions into the black figure to create definition and to help to separate out body parts and clothing. This image is from page 11 in Woodford and I'd just like you to have a look at it and think about what are its strengths and weaknesses as a depiction of a hero killing an enemy. Pause the video here while you attempt this. If you'd like a little extra guidance, you can either read Woodford, or I'll just give you a couple of clues now. So, as a guideline, when we're looking at vase painting, the four key things we're really looking for are realism, so how are the proportions, the body sizes, etc. Emotion, are they characterised, any of the characters? Does their expression fit the mood of the piece? Movement. Is there the right energy? Are the movements realistic? And drapery. How does their clothing add to it? And again, does it look realistic? Pause here again as you make your notes before moving on to my own comments on it and comparing your own to those. Okay, so for me when I look at this, I think about um, a few of the different things. As far as realism goes, we can see that there's some good proportions going on here. If you look at the legs, for example, they are the right kind of proportions. Notice that Nessos' front legs are in much better proportions than his back legs because those back legs actually would be stronger than the front. So actually that uh, represents it quite well. The musculature on uh, Heracles' leg is also clearly defined. You can see the shape of the calf there as well. So this is actually very good, especially for its time. As far as emotion goes, we can see these hands uh, in supplication actually reaching right up to the chin of Heracles. Okay, So we get some idea of Nessos begging for mercy. Maybe we feel actually some sympathy for the centaur at this point. There's also the expression of Nessos here. There does seem to be some sense of pain or desperation coming across. As far as movement goes, we've got this aggressive grab of the hair here from Heracles. We've got the buckling legs here of Nessos as well under the strain. Uh, and we could also argue that this is quite a nice aggressive jump here. Uh, and the foot put upon the back of Nessos also uh, shows quite good um, signs of movement. There are also weaknesses here apparent as well, however, look at the drapery, look at the skin tight clothing going on here. It doesn't really flow and it doesn't even give a great sense of the movement going on. You'll compare this to some of the things we'll see later to see how that gets improved. Look at the pose of Nessos, particularly in his torso, look at un unrealistic twist in the body there. This is not how the human body actually works. Um, the clarity here of the overlap, we lose some of the distinction in the clutter that's going on there. Also, it might not have escaped your, nation too much, uh, your attention too much, but we've got some weird little things going on in the background here, which are meant to be decorative. Now, Woodford looks at how these arms in supplication actually echo each other and show a sense of movement as well as a sense of decoration. In this case, we wonder whether all these other little bits of decoration are really necessary, and again, bear this in mind for the future. 